Oh red fellas, in this video we are going to see how you can install the element 3D right inside the After Effects. So first of all you need to visit the official website which is videocopilot.net and it is referring to the element 3D and once you are right inside you need to scroll down until you see the buy button here you can also view the bundles and you can also download the entrusted tools but we are gonna buy the element 3d from the official website which is video copilot so i'm gonna click on buy once you do so we can download the element 3d in the digital form and i'm gonna click on checkout and once you're right inside i am gonna click on checkout again now i'm gonna confirm my order and we will proceed to this all right fellas so once you are done purchasing the element 3d from the video copilot you will be provided with the compressed folder with the element 3d version 2.2 or they can also provide you the direct link to download without compressed folder so if you have any compressed folder you need to double click on this and you need to make sure you have the winrar on your pc so that you can extract the files as you can see this is the element 3d folder once i go right inside this is the exe installer to install the element 3d so i will go to the root directory and i will click on extract to and i will specify the path where i want to extract this file so i will click on desktop and i will click on ok so once you are done you will see the element 3d version 2.2 folder here if i click on this i can see the element 3d version 2.2.exe file and some other files that i have removed for the privacy and you need to double click on this and it will show you the installer to install the plugin right inside the after effects which is element 3d so once you're right inside click on next read all the terms and conditions and agreement and click on i accept as you can see this is showing 23 it, this is because i have the after effects 2023 version so it is selected by default you need to go with the default settings and click on next here you need to make sure you select the current user documents and you need to click on next once you're right inside it will show you the preview of where it is going to install the element 3d and you need to click on next once you click on next it will start installing the assets in your after effects once it is done installing the element 3d in the after effects it will show you that the element 3d for the after effects has been successfully installed so once you're done click on finish now let us go right inside the after effects and see if element 3d is properly installed or not oh right fella so once you're right inside the after effects you need to click on cross because we are not gonna create any new project once you're right inside make sure you select this option new composition and we are gonna go with the default setting but for the composition name i am gonna write element 3d so once you have done renaming the composition name make sure the settings are default and click on ok once you are right inside before importing any video and applying the element 3d to that you need to go to the edit and you need to navigate to the preferences and you need to select scripting and expressions once you are right inside in the application scripting make sure allow scripts to write files and access network is marked as tick and once you're done you need to click on ok next you need to go to the file and you need to navigate to project settings and in video rendering and effects you need to select Mercury, GPU, Acceleration, CUDA or OpenCL. It depends upon your system specifications. If you have a very high-end PC, you will see the CUDA or OpenCL. That's fine. You need to click on this and you need to click on OK. Now let us go to the project and double click in this area. And I will import any random video from my directory. I will double click on this. I will drag this MP4 file into my composition. And once you are done, you need to go to the window and you need to make sure effects and presets is marked as tick once you are done you will see the effects and presets in the right side of the after effects you need to click on this and you need to search for element 3d i can see the video copilot element and this means that it is successfully installed into my after effects so in order to apply the element 3d to this composition video i will double click on this or you can drag it and drop it into your composition all right fellas so as you can see i have activated my license and it is showing the element 3d that is being applied to my composition and now i can create any 3d rendering in the after effects using element 3d the options are endless and you can create anything you want so that's it and as you can see this is properly installed into my after effects so that's it guys i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible if you face any issues installing and downloading the element 3d you can contact me directly in the comment section i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day